Hi you guys, welcome back. Okay, so today's video is gonna be a little bit different, but kind of the same, if that makes any sense. The reason why I say it's gonna be a little bit different is because I've never done a video like this before where I am basically taking you guys along with me to pick out the makeup products that I'm going to take with me out of town. I found out that I'm going to have to go out of town for about five days and so you know I gotta take some stuff with me just in case. I don't plan on filming while I'm out of town this you know trip. A lot of times I do take my stuff with me to film just in case but I don't plan on filming this time so I just kind of want to pick you know full face makeup skincare stuff like that and all the all the fixings if you will <laughs> that have to go along with you know preparing and filling up a makeup bag so anywho that's what I'm doing today and I thought you know why not take you guys along with me so it's kind of familiar to you guys because I do my shop my stash kind of in this style but I've never done this just to pack a travel makeup bag okay so that's what we're gonna do today I grabbed some of my little you know bags travel bags and stuff out of my drawer if you guys ever had ipsy glam bag plus or anything like that you know that <laughs> if you keep the bags you have like a million different size shapes of makeup bags to throw stuff in which is very very handy when you're traveling so um that's what I grabbed I do have one of those little caboodle things to put makeup in for travel sometimes I like to use it sometimes I don't so this time I think I'm just going to put stuff in my little makeup bags and call it a day so enough rambling you guys now when I'm trying to pick makeup for travel some of the key things that I think about is um, I don't like to travel with expensive makeup. I just don't. I won't take like my Natasha Denona, my Pat McGrath, you know, even my ABH stuff I really don't take. Um, so most expensive stuff is not coming with me. But, you know, I have a lot of stuff to choose from. So that's typically not an issue for me. Now, another thing that I always kind of have in the back of my mind is if it does accidentally get broken in transit or lost or stolen, will I die? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, is this something that I can replace? Or if I can't replace it, will I be okay with not having it anymore? Or, you know, do I have other stuff in my collection that will help to ease the pain of me losing that, okay? So that's also something that's running through my mind when I take makeup to travel with because, you know, stuff breaks, get lost, get stolen, whatever. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm just gonna kind of basically go through, kind of try to go through in order of what I use on my face, when I use and stuff like that to help me not forget. I did write some stuff down, but I can still forget. Y'all know it's a whole plethora of stuff that I have to take <laughs> for a full face of makeup, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and then we'll get started. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with, you know, like my skincare, my pre-makeup stuff. Now, in that instance, you know, of course when you travel, you have to have a face wash, you know, moisturizer, you might wanna take an exfoliator, a mask, anything like that, especially for like five to seven days or more, because you know, you wanna take care of your skin. So, anywho, I decided that instead of taking like my larger um, face washes and stuff like that, to travel with that maybe I will go ahead and just take one of these little you know kits like sample kits of skincare stuff that I purchased during the Sephora sale or whatever and just take these products because they're smaller and they are nice quality so this is the Ole Henriksen balance it all kit let me get my glasses y'all know I can't see okay I got my glasses so <laughs> Like I was saying, this is the Balance It All kit. And I think something like this might be good for me to take to travel with. Because it does have a oil control cleanser, a balancing force oil control toner, and a oil control hydrator. So I think this would be perfect for me to take. Because, you know, it's easy skincare, smaller packaging, and a brand that I know and trust. So I'm going to take this for, you know, just my skincare in the bathroom. Okay, so now I also want to grab um, 
I always have to have wipes, you guys. I don't care what the situation is. If I'm going out of town, I have to have some face wipes. So I think I'm going to just grab this pack here. These are some that I'm pretty sure I just got from like Ross or something. You know, they have the three packs. These say retinol makeup cleansing wipes. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. Now also, just looking in this drawer, I do have some face masks that I can take. I think I'm gonna take like two face masks. I might not use both of them, but I think I definitely want to at least take a couple, you know. This is the Midnight Blue Calming Sheet Mask, and this one I definitely feel like would be something nice to take. Okay, and then I wanna go ahead and pick one more. Mm, I already have, uh, this is one of the, glam glow bubble sheet i don't want that morning eye mask i don't need an eye mask mm. what happened last <laughs> what happened last night now if i was going out partying then i would take that okay uh, let me just take one of these this is a facial essence mask from epeel and it's just firming and lifting with vitamin c so i'm going to take one of these also okay so that's good enough for wipes and face masks let's go ahead and pick a uh, moisturizer while we are in here i think i'm going to go with my milk makeup because i really really like this and it works very well you know honestly i probably don't need to grab this because in my little face kit there is a moisturizer so I'm going to pull this, but I'm going to think about it because, you know, when you're trying to travel light, this might not be traveling so light. So this might get taken out, but if it fits, I'm probably going to take it. Okay, you guys, so moving back up here, I want to go ahead and pick a face oil and a serum. So let me just start out by choosing a serum. Uh, I want to grab something that I know works well, that I like. And I don't really have to give it too much thought. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab this VC Effector 10. I love this stuff. As you can see, it's almost gone from its skin. And it does have like vitamin C and stuff in it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that. And then for face oil, um, I can really take either one of these. Because the Elemis and the Milani are pretty much equally as good to me. Um, I think I'm going to pull the Elemis because it's smaller. <laughs> That's really the only reason is it's smaller. This one is actually a new one that I have. I have one over by my makeup station that is almost gone. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that one. Okay, see, so this is the one that I use on a regular basis. <laughs> That's almost gone. So I'm going to use this one and, you know, just have that just in case I need it. Okay, so let's move over here and pick a face primer. Now for face primer, I really wanna keep it simple with this as well. I don't want to pick something that, you know, is pore filling or blurring and all that stuff just because it might not go with the one or two foundations that I'm going to take, you know? So I just wanna keep my primer simple. Um. Let's see, do we wanna do the good molecules? I love this stuff. This is silicone free priming moisturizer. This one, as you can see, I've used quite a bit of this uh, and I haven't used it in a while. No, but I think I want something that's really more of just like a moisturizing type situation. So I think I'm gonna pull this Tarte base tape because when I use this, it's an excellent primer. As you can see here, it says double duty beauty. If I can focus yeah double duty beauty and it really just feels like a really nice moisturizing you know primer so I'm gonna pull this because it is no fail for me now for setting sprays <laughs> I usually gravitate to my Mac prep and prime setting sprays only because of the fact that they're so cute and small and compact they're perfect for travel right now I have a little um, sample size of the what is it the Tatcha dewy mist oh my gosh i'm loving it <laughs> but i think i'm just going to stick with one of these and maybe i'll just take this one here i usually take the pineapple but i think i'm gonna go ahead and take this one what is this the peony so yeah very cute this is an excellent setting mist and it's very small and compact perfect for travel 
okay, now we're getting to the fun stuff, <laughs> maybe. But uh, I typically like to take one foundation, you know, just keep it simple, but I really want to take two today. So just like with the moisturizer, I'm going to pick two, but if I find that my bag is getting too full, then I'm just going to take one. So foolproof foundation for me, Huda Beauty. I have never put on this Huda Beauty foundation and felt like I wasn't looking the bomb, okay? It's just, I love this stuff. It gives me a nice, full, kind of like matte type finish, you know? And if I don't want it so matte, I can use a dewy spray, nice moisturizer. It just looks good, shade is perfect. And I love this foundation. What shade is this? Coco. As you can see, I have two, but Coco works really, really well for me. So I'm gonna pull this. Okay, and then why don't we go ahead and do <laughs> pull a drugstore, okay? Now this NYX Born to Glow, I know I have a couple of these. Oh, this works amazing as well. Looks so beautiful, nice, healthy, natural finish. The shade I have is perfect for me. I think it's cappuccino. Yeah, cappuccino. I love this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this as well. Okay, so have to pick a concealer before I forget. Now this Essence Concealer, this is the one product from Essence that I tell you I cannot live without. I try several different concealers to cover up my dark circles. This one here, the Camouflage, uh, what shade do I have? Dark Mocha, man, this works perfectly to cover my dark circles. So I have to take this, this is not optional. <laughs> and then, do I want to make this easy? Because this NYX Born to Glow, you know, I'm taking the foundation with me. This one, I actually am using one of these in my Shop My Stash as well. And I'm finding that I really, really love this concealer just as much as the foundation. What shade is this? Mm. Come on, focus. Warm caramel. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to take this because it's foolproof. I like it and... I want my makeup to be easy while I'm out of town. Okay, you guys, so let's move back down here. And if you hear any bones popping, just know that I do not have knees like Megan. <laughs> so I'm down here on my knees. So if you hear anything popping, just know that it's your girl's knees, okay? So um, for powders, when I travel, I like to take pressed powder just because it's easy. You know, it's less mess and I just prefer pressed so I was thinking about taking my aqua assurance because this is one that you know I won't die if it breaks and this is a jcat aqua assurance and it's easily replace replaceable I do use the shade espresso Let's see if I can one hand open this okay ooh not bad so that's what the espresso looks like so this is a maybe um my CoverGirl Full Spectrum, this is definitely no-brainer, always works for me as well. This one, what is this? Deep Neutral 2. So yeah, I love this pressed powder. This L'Oreal Infallible, I actually um, got this not too long ago and when I used it, love it. I also have, and sorry guys, I don't know if you guys are checking for shade names or whatnot, but Hold on, let me see, what shade is this? 355 Sienna. And then I also have the, you know, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. These are both, I think they're foundation powders, if I'm not mistaken. This one is 600 Golden, um, Golden Beige. And I love using this under my eyes. Oh my gosh, you guys, this stuff is so amazing to set under your eyes. If you haven't tried it, try it. So what I'm thinking is maybe I should just do these two and I have, you know, my powder to set my face and then for under my eyes to brighten as well. Keep it simple and then they're both pressed. So yeah, I'm just going to take these two because they're easily replaceable and no mess. Okay, you guys, so let's move back over here because you know I have to choose blush, highlight and bronzer right now when i travel i prefer to choose 
uh, face palettes because they're easier. I don't have to choose three different things to take. I can get everything in one shot, my blush, my highlighter, and my bronzer in one palette, and it just works out. So I do have this Cover Effects palette here. What is this? This is the Perfector Face Palette in Medium Deep. I haven't used this in a while. I know you guys have seen this a million times, but this is a really nice palette to take. I'm gonna put this to the side just in case. That's a maybe. I do have my Tammy palettes. Uh, I don't think I wanna take these. I did use these recently and I'm not really in the mood for those. So I don't think I wanna take these. Let me look down here. I think these are more of my three-in-one type situations. This is a highlighter and bronzer from Revolution, so I'm not gonna take that. Ooh, my Patricia Bright. I think this one has all three, doesn't it? It does. So it has the blush, the bronzer, the highlight. Mm. And that one's a little bit deeper, so that one's definitely a maybe. This one from the lip bar, oh my gosh, this one is so bomb too. Ah, this is the Vogue Minute Finish Face Palette. Well, it might be this one, you guys, because this one, bomb.com. And it has the deeper bronzer slash contour in there as well. Ooh, this is a front runner, front runner for sure. Um, yeah, I, um, I don't want to take anything. I think this is just blush and bronzer, maybe. I don't want to take anything too, too big. You know, I still want to keep it kind of small. Dang, I cannot open this. Hold on, you guys. Okay. Oh, this does have all three. Ooh, and that's pretty, too. But I might get tired of that bold blush. That blush is pretty bold. Mmm, not sure. Let me see if I have any other small... Oh. I used to take this one to travel all the time. This is the Sephora Pro Spice Palette, I think. Is this the Spice one? Spice Market. Y'all remember this? I used to take this all the time, and this works so amazing. It has two different blushes, a bronzer, a highlight. Do I want to take this? Mm. Okay, hold on. Let me think. Okay, you guys, it has to be out of these three. The Lip Bar, the Patricia Bright, and the Sephora Spice Market. What's it going to be, you guys? Mm. I think I'm going to do the Lip Bar. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Lip Bar because I'm feeling that right now. Nice, pretty, you know, summery type blush. Yeah, we'll go with the Lip Bar. Okay, you guys, so I moved over here back to my makeup desk. I know it's a little kind of crazy and ratchet right now. But <laughs> ignore all of that. What I did was I just pulled out some of my drawers that has items that I cannot forget to take, okay? Like if I forget to take my brow products, I'm gonna die. If I forget to take, you know, my lip liners or an eyeliner or, you know, sponges to apply my makeup, I'm gonna die. So <laughs> I just pulled out these drawers because I wanted to make sure I do not forget to take these items. Now, this I have in here, it's my Uma, like, what do they call this? This is their double take sculpt and strobe stick. I like to keep this in my bag just because it's a really nice deep cream, you know, contour or bronzing stick. I I use it for cream um, bronzing because it works perfectly for me for that. So it also has, you know, the strobe side, which is the highlighter. I don't really use that, but it is gorgeous but I just don't use it, it's not really my vibe. So I am going to take this, just so that I have it. Okay, so let's take a look at some of this other stuff in this little essential drawer. In here, I keep my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. I really don't have to take this, this is not a priority. I like to have it, mm. but I think I'm going to skip on this just to save space. Now, I do always have to take a brush that has a spoolie on it because I use that to brush out my brows. So I'm gonna put this to the side. I think since I'm not taking my um, cut crease canvas base, I am going to take my NYX glitter primer because it's smaller, easier to travel with, and 
it does a good job of you know making dull shimmers pop now for my brows I do use the um, pure on point pencil this is actually an eyeliner it's a brown shade what color do I use down to earth it's an eyeliner but it works perfectly for my brows so I always use this but when I'm out of town I always worry about my brow pencil running out because there's nothing worse <laughs> than doing one brow and then you run out and you out there with one brow on okay and you have no way of getting another brow pencil because there's no Sephora there's no Ulta there's no you know pure store or whatever so I'm going to take a brand new one so this is a brand new pencil that I'm going to use for my brows so I don't have to worry about running out while I'm out of town for five days now when I do my brows I do this is the only concealer I use to clean up my brows. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in Dark Cocoa. I use this shade because it just looks nice when I clean up my brows with this. So I'm going to take this. Um, let's see, for eyeshadow base, I have my P. Louise here. Mm, I would be kind of pissed if I lost this. I really would. <laughs> Not because I can't get it again, but because it's a little pricey. My girl um, Lily bought this for me. So I think I'm actually going to take this little sample size Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer because I really do like this eyeshadow primer as well. I also already have another one here, but if I didn't, I could easily replace this and it's very affordable. So I'm gonna take this. Um, I always, this is one thing that I typically forget if I don't think about it. I need a black eyeliner because the reason I forget is because since I do pretty colorful looks, I rarely use a black pencil eyeliner for my lower lash line, but occasionally I do. And when I keep it simple, I really need to have a black pencil liner. So I think I'm actually going to just take this one from Tarte. I really don't care. I have a million black pencil eyeliners and, you know, they pretty much are all the same to me. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one. Um, is there anything else I need out of here? Mascara. I am not taking my Thrive Cosmetics mascara. Uh-uh. No way. <laughs> uh, I have this LA Girl Jet Setter mascara in here. Let me see. I'm going to look at my mascara drawer and see if I can find something else I want to take. Okay, you guys, I went ahead and pulled the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's not, you know, uh, cheap, inexpensive mascara, but I have about a million of these <laughs> that I've gotten, you know, through different, I don't know, subscription boxes or free samples and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this because it's a decent mascara and I have plenty of these and it's small, so this will work. Okay, so I think that's all that I need to take out of this drawer. Okay, so next here I do have my little drawer that I keep my eyelash application stuff in. So of course I have to have this, the applicator. I can't put them on without it. Um, I have a couple of glues in here. This one is Super Stronghold Eyelash Adhesive. This one is clear. And I think, oh this is from Eye Envy. So this one is clear. This one works really, really good. I got this little small one in one of my lash packs from Kiss. So this is perfect for travel because it's very, very small. I don't know if you can see that. It's very, very small and this stuff works really good. So I think I might just take this. I also have my little lash Kiss glue liner. This one is very easy um, to use as well, but I don't know how much of this I have left to be honest with you. Let me see. Oh, it looks like it's a decent amount in there. Maybe I'll take this. Mm, I think I'm gonna take both of these because sometimes when I'm doing my lashes, this, I don't know, it just, it doesn't come out right. So I think I'm gonna take both of these, this little one and this pencil. <laughs> I know I'm doing the most, I'm doing the most. This little thing here is what I use to clean up my brows. I'll probably just do this before I leave. You know, it's like a little shaver thing that I use to carve out my brows when my hair starts to grow in. But I will probably just do this before I leave and hope and pray to God that I don't they don't grow back in within five days, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna leave this here. I don't wanna take it. Okay, next, 
lips. Now when I travel, I like to keep my lips very simple because I will end up taking 50 lipsticks if I don't. Now I'm really a liner and gloss type of chick, so I don't need to take a bunch of lipsticks, you know, red, blue, purple, green, orange, I just don't. But I do wanna take this lip scrub. This is a Milani lip scrub. So just in case my lips get crusty, I am going to take this. Um, I also have this Sugar Rush lip balm. I think this is from, is this Tarte's brand? I don't know. I got this in a subscription box. So it's like, do I wanna take this or do I wanna just take an easy lip oil or something like that. I think I want to take a lip oil. Hold on you guys. Okay so I think what I'm gonna do mm, to keep it simple I think I'm gonna take this Kosa's lip oil. I mean both of them are simple but this one has an applicator you know. So I'm gonna take this. It's the Kosa's wet lip oil. It's just something to kind of you know moisturize my lips and very small and compact easy for travel. Okay for lip liners, I'm only taking two. Um, you guys know I have to take my ColourPop and Ellery lip liner. This is the burgundy shade. I know this one is beat up, you guys, but I'm not about to open a new one just to show you guys <laughs> a pretty lip liner. This is the lip liner I use all the time. This is what she look like, okay? She pretty, I'ma take her. And I need a brown, so I have to decide which brown I wanna take. This is a really dark one from Kiss. I think this might be, yeah, this is an eyeliner, but I use it for my lips as well because it's very dark. This is my ColourPop BFF4. Mm, let's see, what am I in the mood for? So that's BFF4, love that. This one is the Kiss. You see the difference? The Kiss almost looks black. It's so freaking dark. I don't think I want to take that. Um, this one is from NYX. This is NYX Professional Makeup. What color is this? Urban Cafe. So that one is a little less dark, but it's still a pretty brown. Um, I think I'm just gonna go with the ColourPop BFF4. This one, the first one, cause that one is perfect for me for a brown liner. So I got brown, I got burgundy, I'm good. And then lastly for lips, this is <laughs> pretty much more than I need, quite honestly, because I am just a gloss chick. So I have my DJ's Boutique. This is her gloss in brown sugar. It's just a beautiful, natural shade of gloss. Everyday type gloss, love it. So I'm taking this. I also pulled one of my Maybelline Lifter glosses. These perfect everyday glosses as well. They're gorgeous, they're comfortable. I love these. I have like almost every shade, I think. This one is 008 in the shade Stone, so I love that. Now, I do have one of my Juvia's Place lipsticks because when I do like a lip liner, if I do a bold eye and I wanna do a new natural lip, sometimes I do like to just go in with a basic, you know, bullet lipstick for a natural nude lip and then I'll just top it off with one of my glosses. So I have to have one of these. This one is in Vogue. So I'm taking this and I think I can replace that. Can I replace that if I lose it? Ooh, I might have to make another choice. Dang it. And this, I know I can replace this Fenty Gloss Balm Cream, but the question is, do I want to? Do I want to? I'm gonna have to see if I can find a dupe for this. I know I have another, I know I have another bullet that I can use instead of this. And I won't die if I lose it. This one is from Amor Us. <laughs> very, very affordable brand and their lipsticks are very nice. So this one I could easily use to replace the Juvia's Place and I won't die if I lose it. So I'm gonna put the Juvia's Place back and then, ooh, let me see if I can find a dupe right quick for this Fenty Gloss Balm Cream. This is a really pretty red one and I was gonna take this because, you know, if me and hubby decide to go out and I do wanna do something with a little bold lip, I could use this, but I need to find a dupe. Hold on. 
Okay, you guys, so after swatching <laughs> several different lipsticks and glosses to try and find something that will scratch the itch of my Gloss Balm Cream, I think I'm going to go with this ColourPop. And this is in the shade Notion. I've had this for quite a while. As you can see, the writing is all rubbed off. But I feel like it will be good enough, okay? Because this is the um that's the Fenty so if you can see that that's the Fenty very gorgeous and this one is Notion from ColourPop you know it's not the same by any means but I feel like it's close enough you know for me to just take traveling it's close enough this one here is uh, from, what is this, Buxom? Yeah, this one is from Buxom, which is really pretty, but it's not the same. And then I also have this one here, which is from BH Cosmetics. It's called So Extra. And this one is in the shade Riot. And this one is this shade here. So it's a little bit darker. So yeah, I think we're going to take the ColourPop because I don't care if I lose this or whatever. I really don't care. Okay, as you can see, I also have some sponges here in this little drawer. I like to typically take three sponges. I like to take like a big one. So this is one of my large Sonia Kashik sponges. And when you wet these, they get nice and large and fluffy. So I am gonna take one of these. These pink ones from Shop Miss A, absolute favorite. I love the Paw Paw sponges. So always have to have one of these <laughs> I know when you're traveling you're supposed to like take it easy but it's certain stuff that I just have to have and then I love taking one of the smaller beauty blender sponges because these are perfect for um, blending out your eyeshadow primer you know just making sure it's nice and even all over your eyelid before you get started so I like to take a small one so those are the three that I'm gonna take I also pulled out my eyeliner pencil so that I wouldn't forget to take at least a couple of colors. Um, I always like to at least have a blue, um, a pretty gorgeous, bold, or cobalt type blue. So I think I'm going to take this one, which is Denim from Beauty Creations. I think this might be a good one. Oh, that is really bold and it's pretty light. Mm. Let me see. This one is Electric from LA Girl. So those are pretty close, pretty close. I'm trying to find one that's maybe a little bit darker. So this is one of my Kiss Perfect, per Perfect Precision pencils. So that one's a little bit darker. And I think that could go with like, you know, a smoky look or a bright look. So I'm going to go with this one because this is more universal to me. And then I always have to have a green. This green is pretty from Beauty Creations. This one is called Shamrock. This one is pretty light though. Mm. One of my favorite greens is actually the ColourPop collab with Raw Beauty Christy. Uh, I don't know what shade this is, you guys, but it's from her, oh, it's Time, the shade Time. This one can go with a lot of different looks as well. So that one is gorgeous. Oh, do I wanna take? Yeah, I'll take that one. I'll go with like the darker pencils and then I have to have a purple. Y'all know, like, don't even play with me. Have to have a purple. <laughs> this is the Beauty Creations Plum. So. That is Plum from Beauty Creations. Uh, what is this? This one is one of my Kiss Perfect Precisions. Uh, what color is this? Child, I don't know, it's purple. This one is not applying as nicely. It's a little bit, looks like a little bit darker. So, so no, I don't need that. This one is from ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in 
piggy bank. I think this is actually one of my favorites, the piggy bank. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. Yeah, I'm gonna take piggy bank. It's pretty, it's smooth, and it works. So that's it. I typically don't do too many other colors than purple, blue, and green, so I'm gonna take these three. Okay, you guys, so I do need to pick some lashes before I pick a palette, okay? So we'll go over and pick some lashes. Now, I only wanna take one palette, so you guys know how extremely hard that's gonna be for me because y'all know I love color and I like to have options. So the palette might take a little, a little time, okay? Well, let's go pick some lashes. Okay, you guys, so I have a few drawers that have lashes. This one has lashes this one has lashes and some other stuff um this one has lashes i think we need to just like keep it kind of easy breezy you know these are cute from beige cosmetics i think my girl lily gave me these those are real cute oh but look at these honey that is dramatic triple push up xl collection those are cute, but that's a bit much. These are some lashes I got from AliExpress. Super duper cute. Um, I think I got these from AliExpress as well. Just basic lashes. Those are cute too. Um, uh, I mean, clearly I like these because I have a bunch of them. They must have been on sale because honey, I got a bunch of those. Okay, now these are the ones that I just got from Profusion. These are some of the iconic 3D lashes. Those are cute. Now these, ooh, ooh, ooh. These are amethyst. I've been using the aquamarine lashes from Sephora and I absolutely love them. They fit my eyes perfectly. These are cute though. I think I'm gonna take these because these, they're not too much, they're not too little. Yeah, I'm gonna take these. These are the Sephora Pro or Sephora Amethyst lashes that I got on sale for like seven bucks. I'm gonna take these. I only need one pair. Okay, you guys, so for palettes, what I did was I went through my collection and picked out palettes that, you know, kind of or what I think might fit into my criteria for a travel palette. Now, what I look for in a travel palette, like I said, something that has a lot of variety, color, as well as neutral. Um, I love to have a white and a black in there. Doesn't always happen, but it has to be something where I can do a colorful look if I want, or I can do a basic look if I want. Monochromatic, just it has to be well-rounded. So, of course I grabbed colorful palettes. So I'm just gonna run through and see which one I'm feeling because like I said, one palette, two at the very most. And the only reason why I say two palettes is because if I decide to take a palette that has like all mattes or mostly mattes, then I need to grab like a shimmer palette to go with it. So let's just take a look at these palettes that I chose um, to choose from or that I picked to choose from. This one is the Rude Cosmetics Roaring Twenties Reckless Palette. Y'all, this palette is bomb, <laughs> okay? It is so bomb. Beautiful, beautiful colors in here and the shimmers, that's another thing too. I need some gorgeous mattes and gorgeous shimmers to play with because I do not take my single shimmers i do not take any of my specialty shimmers from you know my indie brands and stuff because honey if i lose or break those i'm gonna be very upset so i would like the palette to have some beautiful shimmers in it as well and this one does very colorful and has um you know blue purple green red and orange even with some browns and neutral shades it doesn't have a black so I wouldn't really be able to smoke anything out. It does have this light cream shade up here, but I don't know. I really don't like the fact that there's no black in here. But other than that, it is a really pretty palette. So this is a maybe. I wouldn't say a strong maybe, but it's just a maybe. Okay, next, I have a new palette to my collection. This is the Midas Cosmetics collab with, what is it called, the Basic B? I don't know who that is, but it's the Perception palette. And it's like, you can barely even see the name on there. I don't like that, but it is what it is. So this is the Perception palette. I've done one look with this so far. 
and this mug is pigmented <laughs> and these shimmers absolutely shocked me i mean shocked me you guys so what i do like about this palette it does have a black and a white for me to play with lots of colors um i can do like a neutral look there's a brown and a tan in there uh oh this is looking like it might be a front runner because it's got the like reddish orange yellow purple green blue black and white gorgeous shimmers this is a front runner oh my gosh i might be taking the perception this is a very strong maybe so i'm gonna put this over here okay i pulled my tammy palette okay now she's not really what you would consider travel friendly because she's not small it's a pretty decent sized palette but for me typically i don't put my palettes in my luggage okay i put my palettes i wrap them up in bubble wrap and i put them in my backpack you know that i carry very carefully onto the plane with me so i don't really worry about my palettes too much because i do carry them on board so this palette definitely well rounded there's no black in this palette or a white it has like this light shimmer shade but mm, nice neutrals nice color but i think the glitters are kind of turning me off right now because i'm definitely not going to use any of the glitters so i don't want any wasted space so this is a no okay next i have here this opv beauty rainbow splash palette i used this not too long ago and i know this palette is very colorful um i don't know can i mm, i don't know if i can repurchase this if it did get damaged or not but anyway beautiful beautiful colorful palette there is a black in here which is nice there's no white which you know i'm more concerned about the black than i am the white to be honest but all of this is very colorful and has some really pretty shimmers um there's no real neutral shades in here, <laughs> you know, like browns and tans. Not that I really need that, but when I'm on the road, I do like to have the option because you never know where you're gonna go or what you're gonna do. So this is a no. Okay, next I did pull these NYX palettes because I really wasn't sure, you know. There's a lot of shades in here. This is the NYX Swear By It palette. Let's see if I can open this up. Come on, there we go. So this is the Swear By It palette. As you can see, very um, colorful palette. It's not your typical rainbow, but definitely can do smoky looks, neutral looks, reddish tone looks. I don't know if it has enough variety for me because if I wanna do like a really deep purple look, I can't do that with this. Or, I mean, I can do like a smoky type green look or blue look, but not anything really bright. So, yeah I'm thinking this is a no so this is gonna be a no now this one the nyx ultimate utopia palette the reason why i thought about this one is because the shimmers in here you guys this one has some really gorgeous shimmers <laughs> okay you can have uh smoky looks and everything but the more i look at it it's not bright enough for me not for me to travel with at all you guys know i love color and although this has color, it's very muted. So yeah, this is gonna be a no. Okay, next I have here this Sample Beauty Painters palette. Now, I think this might be the only palette that I chose that I haven't used yet. So this is by Beth Painter, 30 Shades, and it's from Sample Beauty. You know what? Do they still sell this? I don't know. But this palette here, very colorful, very bright, very bold, has the neutrals in there, black, white, some cute little pops of shimmer. Not as much shimmer as I would like, to be honest with you. But other than that, it is very, very well rounded. So this is another really high, high maybe, because it, it checks all the boxes except the shimmers. So if I take this, I might have to take a second palette with me. So this is a high maybe. Okay, next I have here this Plain and Makeup by Yolando Jamrock No Limitations. One of my absolute favorite palettes. <sighs> and this is what she looks like, okay? What I love about this palette is the color story because it's so beautiful. Just every color in here 
is just absolutely gorgeous. And not only that, these shimmers are out of this world, okay? They are so freaking pretty. So I would definitely take this. Um, it has a black down here in the corner. No, I think that's dark green, actually. I think that's like a really, really dark green down here in this corner. So it doesn't have a black, dang. If it had a black, this would seriously be a front runner. Not only because the mats are gorgeous, but the shimmers are beautiful as well. Very well-rounded palette. Do I care? Because this right here is really, really dark. This brown, so that would be dark enough to smoke out any look, to be honest with you. And with these shimmers, I would not need to bring a second palette. I could just take this and be happy. Hmm. This is a very, very strong navy. Very strong navy. Okay, you guys, I just have a few more to choose from. This Avani Greg and Morphe palette. I just got this not too long ago. Just tried it out not too long ago. And I love this palette. I do. Now, this is a perfect travel palette, except for the fact that even though it has like the browns and the oranges and stuff so you can do like a warm kind of earthy basic look but it doesn't have like the tans and stuff in there that you might want to play with this over here is kind of like a peachy type shade and the shimmers are very minimal this is definitely a matte heavy palette because these down here are water activated liners. So these two shimmers are really not going to do it for me. I would definitely have to take another shimmer palette, but this would be a front runner, but I already have three that are high, high up on the list. So this is going to be a no. Okay. I also pulled this blended palette from blended cosmetics. Ugh. This palette is bomb, you guys. If you've never heard of them, they're an indie brand. Um, this is an all matte palette though. So although this palette is very colorful, it doesn't have as many like warm, brown, earthy, neutral shades as I would like to have in my colorful palette to make it, you know, universal. And there's no shimmers. So that's like two negatives for this palette as being travel friendly for me. So it's going to be a no to this, even though I absolutely love this palette. And then lastly, I did pull my Makeup Shack Rainforest palette. I've had this palette for quite a while and you want to talk about a well-rounded, really nice quality palette. This is it. This palette, very affordable. I think it's only like $12.99 or something. And as you can see, you got your neutrals, you got all of your rainbow colors, all of them, your black, your white, pretty shimmers. The only thing I will say about this palette is the shimmers are not like mind blowing. They're just like your regular basic, you know, just kind of satin type shimmers. So even if I took this, which is very, very well rounded, I would still take additional shimmers to go with me. So for that reason, this is probably going to be a no. Even though this is a really front, a high front runner, I would definitely have to take some more shimmers. Okay, so these are <laughs> the three top palettes for me to choose from, you guys. This is going to be hard. Um, what's really making me want to take this perception palette is because it is new and taking it for five days will really give me a good chance to play around with it play with the colors play with the neutrals you know enjoy the shimmers so that's what's kind of really making me feel like yeah i want to take this now with the jam rock no limitations i know i love this palette um Oh, yeah, this might be the one. Even though there's no black, this might be the one just because I'm very familiar with this palette. I love it. The shimmers are amazing. <laughs> and, oh gosh, it gives me the option to do a nice, pretty deep purple look as well. Whereas, like with the Perception palette, although there's a purple in here, it doesn't go as deep deep as the Yolando. So I think the perception is going to stay home 
So now it's between the Jamrock and the Sample Beauty. Oh my goodness, okay. So the Sample Beauty um, Painter's Palette, very colorful, but the shimmers are looking a little lackluster to me. Gosh, but it will allow me to do so many different looks. This is hard, you guys, okay? I might not be able to make a decision with you guys right here, right now, because I don't want to be this video to be that much more longer than it already is, because it's ridiculously long. <laughs> um, But yeah, so it's going to be... It's going to be out of these two. The Painter's Palette or the Plan and Makeup by Yolando. So if I take the Painter's Palette, I think I'm going to pair it with my Flower Beauty Jungle Lights because the shimmers in here are ridiculous, okay? And it's a small little palette that I can take. They do still sell this at Ulta. So if something happened to it, I wouldn't freak out. And not only that, um, the shimmers that are in this cute little palette, I do have, for the most part, dupes for in my singles collection. So if some tragedy happened, I wouldn't die, <laughs> you know? So yeah, I might just have to pair this with the painter's palette or I'm gonna take the Yolando. So it'll be one of those two, you guys. Sound off in the comments, even though probably by the time I get this video up, I'll already be gone. <laughs> So that's it, you guys. That's everything that I'm going to be taking on my little trip for five days. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you guys think that I take too much? Do I worry too much or do I not take enough, okay? The only thing left I have to pull are my brushes and I'm not going to make you guys sit through me pulling brushes, okay? So yeah, that is it. I think I'm set and I have everything I need. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think or what your ritual is when you guys pack to go on a trip and you have to take makeup up with you i'm curious to know am i crazy am i the only one that takes everything with me or is this the norm okay so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one toodles talk to me now